Hey everyone and welcome. In this lesson, we are gonna get started in beginning to learn HTML. Now, before we jump straight into coding and writing out our websites, we first of all need our IDE, our Integrated Development Environment. And this is a program or a service where we can write down our code, run it, and be able to see the result, okay? Now, there are a number of different methods for doing this, uh, which we'll be going through in this lesson. Uh, the first thing you do need though is a web browser that is adequate enough for web development, okay? So if you are using something such as Internet Explorer uh, or one of the default operating systems, I recommend you do go ahead and get something like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, okay? As these are web browsers uh, which are very powerful and which also have integrated uh, developer consoles which allow us to basically have a much more refined control over our websites and see a lot more of the backend data and information that may be useful in web development, okay? Now, along with a web browser, you also need your IDE software, which is where we actually write the code, okay? Now, there are a large number of HTML IDEs out there on the internet. Uh, you can, of course, do your own research on these, but there are a few that uh, we do recommend. And the first one here is Atom, which is supported on Windows and Mac computers. We then have brackets over here, which is a, another great alternative. We have Notepad++, we have Sublime Text, and we have Visual Studio Code. Now, uh, we have all those IDEs there, but for this course, we aren't going to be using an IDE like so. And the reason why is because with this course, we just want to jump straight into learning how to code in HTML. And to do that, we are going to use a cloud-based IDE uh, called REPL dot it okay repl.it and with repl.it it basically allows you to jump straight into coding straight away uh, you have your code on the left you have your output on the right and you don't have to install any software okay so that is the reason why we are using our cloud-based software we aren't affiliated with repl.it in any way uh, and an alternative to this sort of cloud-based uh, programming is jsbin which works in a very similar way so over here on repl.it what we want to do is first of all, click on the start coding button down here. Okay, we'll click on this button and then it's gonna prompt us to log in. Now you can create an account here with uh, Repl.it or you can log in with a Google, GitHub or Facebook account. Okay, uh, I recommend doing this as it's probably the quickest way in getting into the service. So I'm gonna log in with my Google account and I'll be right back once that's complete. Okay, so once you're logged in, you want to go to the top left where it says plus new REPL up here. You want to click on that and now we can choose our language, okay? Which coding language do we want to choose? Well, for us, we want to choose HTML, CSS and JavaScript right here, all in one. So we'll select that. We can then give our uh, project a name. I'm going to call this one HTML intro and then we can click create REPL down here, okay? And this is going to create our brand new project. Now, once this opens up, you'll see that there is some example code here in the center. We don't need to worry about that just yet, as I understand that this may be very confusing. Uh, there's lots of stuff here, but hopefully by the end of the course, you will have a good understanding of what each line of this code here does. So first of all, uh, here in the center, we have our coding window where we have the ability to write down code and edit code. Over here on the right hand side, we have our web page output, okay? So when we click on this run button at the top here, this is where we are going to see our website appear. Uh, down below this, we have a console. Now this is only for JavaScript and not HTML, so we, don't, we won't be uh, worrying about this throughout the course. And on the left hand side, we have the files panel where we can see all of the different files inside of our project here. So in this lesson, what we're gonna do is basically try and display some text on our web page. okay? So to begin, I'm gonna select all of this code here inside of our code editor, and I'm going to backspace to delete it, okay? We don't want any code there to start off with. Let's start nice and simple. And all I'm gonna do is write down, hello world. You can write whatever you want here. Uh, when you write code like this, or when you write text, I mean, inside of your HTML document, and click the run button, you'll see that it gets displayed on screen right here. Okay, this is our web output. This is where we are gonna be seeing our website uh, whenever we write down HTML in this document here. Uh, if you do want this in a brand new tab, maybe you wanna make it a much bigger window, 
you can click on this button at the top right corner where it says open in new tab and it's going to open it up in a brand new tab inside of your browser. Okay, you can of course undock this, move this around to wherever you wish. Uh, but we are going to be working inside of this uh, screen right here just because just so it's a lot more easier and accessible if we have everything on screen at the same time. Okay, and you can of course resize these windows if you wish. Uh, if you hover over the center, you can click and drag to move these windows. So maybe you want a much bigger uh, screen like this, but I'm going to keep it about that. Uh, you can of course also move down the console since we won't necessarily uh, be needing it. And yeah, there we go. So in the next lesson, we are going to begin looking at tags in HTML, more specifically how we can get some titles set up inside of our websites. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next lesson.